Hello right here. Some time ago I did a video on hammers and mallets that I've either seen used by other leather workers or have used myself. Something I'd like to add to that. This is a refractory hammer. It was developed in the 1930s and was originally sold as the Bossa hammer. Today it's more commonly known as the split head hammer. It's intended to be used for tapping and knocking out refractory bricks without damaging them. Often these bricks are used in temporary furnaces and like things, and as they are not cheap, the necessity was for a hammer that had a heavy weight, but wasn't as hard as a steel or iron face mallet, and didn't bounce like a rubber mallet would. I'd also heard from a few older leather workers that in past decades they had seen one of these things being used on occasion for leather work, which was what first sparked my interest in it. About a year ago, I finally purchased one for myself, and having used it extensively now, I want to talk about it. These come in a variety of sizes. This one is a number three, and it weighs a little over two pounds, which is heavy for a leather working mallet. But this shifts around depending on what heads you have in it, or if you have heads on both sides, even, which is the really cool thing about this mallet it breaks apart. You just turn this bottom nut and the heads come right out just like that. This allows you to prolong the usefulness of a head by flipping it around. As you can see, the inserted ends of my heads have seen some use. I can keep flipping a head as either face gets worn and while using the fresher face, the sleeve the other face is inserted into actually sees some restoration to its shape from being impacted. So I can go a lot longer before actually needing to use a rasp, file, and sandpaper to fix up a head. And when the heads finally are done for, I don't need to buy a new mallet because these heads are still manufactured and sold. And if you don't like rawhide heads, that's fine. They also come in that yellow plastic you see on lower end hammers, uh, vinyl, urethane, even copper. So you can get a variety of heads or just the ones that have the properties you like. You could even do something like one rawhide face on one side and a copper head on the other side to increase the weight if you bought a lighter hammer but you want a little bit more wallet. And that makes it a really versatile tool. With leatherworking, I found that I don't need to strike as many as three times anymore. I, I don't even tap. Uh, I just lift and drop, letting the weight of it do all the work. If I want to strike harder, I hold further back. If I want to strike lighter, I just choke up on it. Now these can get expensive. It ranges from around $40 for everything if you buy an old rusty vintage one on say eBay and fix it up to your liking as I did here and then buy your head separately as I did all the way up to around 120 if you want a big one brand new with a variety of heads but you can find a pair of heads for as cheap as $5 depending on the size of the head and the material my impression after about a year of using this, I love it. I've gotten rid of my two other mallets in favor of it, actually. Painting it and keeping the paint on there is a bit of a pain, but that's a headache I bring on myself. The heads are cast iron. You could just season them like you would with a pan. While it can cost a little bit more than your standard leather working hammer up front, long term, I can see it saving a lot of money. I'm going to leave a good amount of links in the description below. They'll be labeled as to what they are so that you can look into it as an option for yourself. I will also say that a number one is probably about as heavy as you actually need, as a good striking maul is around 16 ounces. But with the striking maul, which kind of looks like a lint roller, you don't get an especially long handle, so the effective weight changes depending on where you position your hand, as I've said earlier, and I've just really gotten used to having this weight, and I can't really see myself using anything lighter at this point, because for me it's just so little effort. Well, that's all for now. Have a good one.